Hey guys, this is Silipso from Summoner's War here, and this is a slightly different video. It's going to talk about game mechanics rather than uh, me showing you something in the game itself. And uh, the reason that I wanted to make this video is because there's been a lot of speculation, which, you know, I'm going to say word on the street is that Fatal Runes are going to be getting an update and uh, a, a boost, and people are wondering how this is going to change the metagame. But before we get into this, though, I, I want to do my first few shout-outs. And, um, <clears throat> all right, so these are shout-outs from a lot of people in Channel One Global, that, or a couple of people from Channel One Global that asked me to do a shout-out. So, uh, shout-out to my bro, Koenigseg, uh, who uh, has a first edition Aridus, okay? First edition, before it was... Um, a Hall of Heroes, so shout out to Koei, and uh, also shout out to Exile, the vice leader of the guild I'm currently in, and his girlfriend Ella, uh, the leader of Venom Dawn in Channel 1. So you guys are awesome, and uh, hoping to do more shout outs from here on out. Let's get right into the meat of this. So I am not an Excel wizard, but um, this isn't exactly complicated math, so I just created a little bit of a formula that shows where the break-even point is for crit rate and how attack percent and crit damage percent affect uh, your damage output. So there are a lot of da uh, damage, well there's one really famous uh, DPS calculator out there, but I I'm not really a fan of how it's organized. Mine has like graphs and charts that are nice, so pretty much here's the calculation of what goes, what happens when you have fatal runes with a slot four attack percent rune. And and here I'm assuming that it's a six star slot four rune because that's 63% and the fatal rune gives a 40% attack percent boost. So essentially what this formula is, is it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's not that complicated. Here is the damage if you crit and here is the damage if you don't crit. You can see one minus E2 right here, so that's damage if you don't crit, and damage if you crit. And if you crit, there's a modifier for crit damage. I didn't include any skill multipliers or anything like that. That's that's not necessary, and they kind of all cancel out anyways, since they're all multipliers. Um, and, and I didn't factor defense into account, because Com2Us doesn't really release their damage formulas, and. So we, we, we don't really know the role of defense in all this. Um, so this is just for ignore defense attacks. So pretty simple. Damage with crit rate, or if you crit, and damage if you don't crit. So this is a weighted average of the damage that you do. And this unit right here, it, I'm, I'm just gonna call it equivalent attack because it's not really attack, but it's if you were to take into account crit rate and all that, it would be the equivalent attack that your monster would have. Um, with crit damage rune percent, you can see that I have 40% for the fatal rune, and then here I have added an 80% crit damage bonus. Again, I'm assuming a 6 star rune on slot 4. And here are the other percent modifiers. Now we move on to rage uh, with an attack percent for slot rune. And the attack percent gives a 63% attack boost, and the rage gives a 40% crit damage boost. Uh, and now finally it's rage with a crit damage percent rune on slot 4. So 40% from the rage dam uh, critical damage, and 80% from the slot 4 rune. So we can see that things have changed a little bit. First of all, I want to show you how it was before. Before, there was a break-even point between Fatal and Rage, where right about at 60%, Fatal with crit damage percent um, started being slightly worse than Rage with crit damage percent. Just to be safe, I would say closer to 70%, because this is more reliable damage. Fatal, fatal damage is more reliable than rage damage. Um, so, so let's see what this looks like as a chart. 
So down here we have crit rate, and here we have the equivalent damage. And we can see that the two top performers at 100% crit rate are uh, Fatal with crit damage and Rage with crit damage. And the point at which they, you know, it's, it gets pretty muddled here, but right about here we can see that Rage starts to take over Fatal. Um, and, and you'll see this pattern, except it's, it's different for the post-update. So after the update, it's more complicated. Fatal actually becomes a great choice all the way until about 80% crit, uh, crit rate. So that, that's really significant. That pretty much says that if your subs suck, then you're gonna want to go with fatal and add a slot four crit damage for good measure if you can get you know 60 percent crit rate so this changes things pretty significantly um whereas before the break even point was close to 60 percent crit rate now it's way higher it's it's way higher i mean 80 percent maybe even higher than that granted sub stats do matter so let's see what happens if we add an extra 30% um, crit damage sub from our runes. Even then, that, that's interesting because even then, Fatal is a better choice. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, now suppose you got, I don't know, 20% attack boost. That's interesting because an, a, a boost in attack subs actually favors Rage with crit damage percent over Fatal with crit damage percent. So if you had, you know, ridiculous attack subs of like 40%, then for you, actually Rage with crit damage percent would be better with 70% crit rate. So that's an overview of how, how things change. If you want this spreadsheet, I'll figure out some way to give it to you. Um, post in the comments if you want it. I'm not sure if people are interested in, in this or not, but I can't really like upload things to YouTube. Maybe I'll upload it to SlideShare or Dropbox or something. Um, but post if you're interested in this or you want to check my math or something. But anyways, that's it for now. Peace out, guys.